Welcome to another Cup of Capo. Now today I am in the home of Marie Ann Chement. She's a costume and set designer. Now today's Cup of Capo has to do with when you think that, you know, you see a book produced and you just go, oh, that person wrote a book. No, it doesn't happen that way. People have to think about things. Then they have to take what they think about it and put it onto paper. And they take it and then they make it into something real that goes on the stage. There's a lot of work that goes into something behind. Now, because Marie happens to be at work today, I am with her husband, Louis. Now, Louis, explain to me. She is actually taking, this is from costumes from sets that she's designed. She takes the fabric. She actually paints this. Right? Exactly. So these are renderings for Rigoletto, which is an opera that was done in the Seattle Opera. Mm -hmm. She designs the sets and costumes for this particular production. And of course, she likes to not just uh, do the minimum amount. She likes to create fine art, sort of describing the production that is being made and the dresses and the mm -hmm. outfits. Great. So this is for opera. And now, not only does she does it on flat 2D, she also does it as three-dimensional three 3D. Because these are now uh, set designs that she does in miniature. And then she brings them to life. She takes this. So how does it work? She makes the miniature, and then she sends it to the place? Well, she works. It's a collaborative art form. So you're working with uh, directors and, and the people who actually build the sets. So the, the models are made to help the people understand what to build in real size. And of course, a little model like you're seeing, like this is a revolve from Into the Woods that might look like a foot here, but it's 30 feet across on stage, right? And then and and obviously it doesn't need to go real hand when you have you know, no, a no, giant hand No, there. surprisingly, yeah. it's all me. And it, and, so. it, and, it, and it turns, you said, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. So, it rotates so <laughs> yeah, right. obviously I'm not doing it very well by hand, yeah, right. but it's very smooth on stage. And so, you know, Everything that goes into a show, there's a lot of design and intent and, uh, you know, just the whole now, production so doesn't magically show up. So now we're going to show upstairs, so these are just more paintings that she's done of different costumes. The magic flute. Show, the magic flute. What is this one from? Uh, I don't remember. Dreaming of Diamonds. This yes. Is what it says. Yes, that was a custom commission show. And we have here um, a set design from for Macbeth. Macbeth. So now how does, how long does something like this take her to oh. make? Uh, well, in her case, uh, design can happen as little as a month. For opera, sometimes it takes an entire year. Wow. It really depends on the, the production, and it's never just her. It's her and her assistants and the whole collaborative team. Now, and you said you this this one here of I Am My Own Wife is very, uh, very detailed. So explain what's going on here. Well, this is part of a set. This is the back of a set, and it looks like a teeny thing. has a lot of things, but it's 70 feet wide on the real real stage, and it went up for like 30 feet, and of course it's props that were pulled. But to help the people putting together, she made actual models to show what it should look like. And now this is exactly where, this is where the brainstorming and everything all takes place. Yeah. So for example, this is a costume that she worked on for what? Uh, that one was House of Seven Gables, an original opera. And, uh, you know, just all over the place, there's everything from, from plots for, for stage designs that she's done to costume designs. The impresario, uh, that's Madame Godin Hill. Marie is a very fine painter, and so she likes to paint things. Other people might just do little sketches but with their hands. But she goes into a lot of detail. Exactly. And then finally you have collages, right? The ideas don't spring from scratch. She has a little idea, she expands it. Then it's a collaborative art. She has to show it to other people. So she does it, she shows it to the other people, they say yay or nay, change it a little bit this way, and it goes back and forth between exactly. the two. Because nothing from the shoot comes out right away. So basically what you learn from this, guys, is that if you have an idea and you want to get it out there, right, you work at it. You work with somebody. You work with yourself. You go back and forth, back and forth, because things don't happen just like magic. It's no luck that she is so successful. She worked at it. She worked very hard. Now, if you want to find out more about it, what's the website they can go to? Shement.com. C-H-I-M-E-N-T dot C-O-M. Enjoy. Uh, enjoy. Thank you very much.